What up? Here we go. You ready to learn? Yes. Here we go. Okay. So our objective is to graph this linear inequality. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to graph the line. May it be dashed, may it be solid. We'll, find, we'll talk about that on the next episode. I'm just kidding. We'll talk about it in a second. Okay. So the first coordinate from this, which this is in like inequality version of slope intercept form, what do I need to plot first? Uh, y intercept. Cool. Okay. That is correct. Y intercept, which is at what location? Uh, three. So the y intercept is three, so one, two, three. Good job. From that coordinate, all I have to do is count rise over run. Yes. Which is what? Where's my slope? Negative three, three over two. Very good. So, like I said <clears throat> to a couple of you guys that asked, the negative can be attached to the three or the two. The only way you can get it wrong is by not attaching it to either of them or attaching it to both of them, okay? So you, the negative can go to the top of the three, you can chill with the two, it doesn't matter, okay? So just gotta listen to your heart. We'll leave it with the three because that's what it's already hanging out with. So it's rise over run, so we're gonna rise negative three. One, two, three. And run two. Run two, one, two. Might do another one just to make it look pretty. One, two, three, run two. Run DMC. Now we need to know dashed or solid. Solid, solid. Solid. Because it can be equal to. It's greater than or equal to, which means our realm of points this can be can be on the line. So basically any time that line's on our means, you know that it'll just put a straight line. Yes, ma'am. 100%. Cool. Cool. Indeed. Now, we'd be like, okay, we're done if we were doing a regular line, but we're not. Okay. So we got to throw some shade on this. And that means like you don't ever answer them or something? Okay, um, Lexi, I saw you give the symbol for which coordinate we want to use. Everybody on the count of three. One, two, three. Origin. We want to do this. This means origin. Zero, zero. You Your nose is the comma. I used to be able to. Hello? Like that? <laughs> okay, what ifs? All right, so we're going to pick the origin. Zero, zero. <laughs> okay, oh, he don't look that happy. He's like smirking. Like smirking. Okay. So zero, zero, so I'm gonna plug those in. So instead of Y, I put zero, greater than or equal to negative three over two, which doesn't matter because I'm multiplying times zero for X plus three. This cancels out. It's false. Zero is greater than or equal to three. So does the origin work? No. No. So do I shade where the origin can be involved? No. No. It's like your parents when they're like, oh, mom, can I go over to a house they're having like a big hangout and your mom says is blank gonna be there and it's either your good friend or your crazy friend and so if it's the good friend cool you can go over there and you can hang around with the other people if it's a crazy friend they go no you can't be around anyone it's just like that that was a really good analogy it's okay y'all don't know it just think about it okay it's really good okay so does the origin work or you just lie to that yeah you, you don't, definitely don't say your crazy friends there but then again, you guys are going over to read Harry Potter books because there was a big release the night before, and so that's why you were there. It's a goblet of fire, guys. We didn't, not you. Shade above. We do not shade the origin because the origin didn't work, so therefore it shall not be included in the possible list. Shall not. That's all I got. Class is out. We got one more question.